What's up Pokemon fans? It's Awana Turtle and today we are doing another Pokemon opening. We have 12 more packs of Team Up and we have a we're trying something new in order to bring us some luck. Uh, so recently in our very cool mail day we got four of these Japanese uh, I'm calling them dual decks because I don't know what else to call them and before I kind of like tuck them away um, figured hey Let's use this as a background. And since we go looking straight down, we're just going to open packs on top of them. So yeah, in case you guys missed that video, I would recommend go check it out. There's some really cool cards that we opened, or we did for mail day. Um, and these are the, like, I'm not sure what to call them. I'm calling them the, the gym dual decks. And where we got Brock and Missy, basically it's uh, not all that different than a theme deck, but obviously there's it's a kind of like a bigger package they try to make a bigger deal out of it um, but it is a pre-made deck with um, for Brock and Misty and I do wonder if they're going to continue doing this although these you know these are very iconic uh, from the original series and then I was thinking so let's say they went through all the gym leaders and they go hmm, that was such a good such a good pack that I didn't even realize it went through all the cards um, so imagine they go through all the gym leaders, which is awesome, and then, wait for it, Elite Four. That'd be cool. And then after all that, you know what would be even the best way to top it off? Oh, imagine if you fight, like you can. there's like a Gary Oak version, and then, oh, imagine the Ash Ketchum version. Um, although, when it comes, if, if we're referring to like the game, I guess, uh, what we refer to like the Japanese promo like I guess they refer to the trainer as red uh, from the card reds Pikachu so either way I think that would be so cool ah so we have fairy charm reverse ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, still haven't got that magic arp how is this possible this is oh, in case you guys missed the last video video this is box six booster box six I don't even want to think about how many packs that is. I'm not going to try to do the math. Uh, however, very happy with this. Um, Pikachu Zekrom is blowing up the meta right now. All right, let's keep going on to booster pack number three. As always, guys, appreciate you guys watching the video. If you do enjoy the content, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We do daily openings. Uh, we're pretty good about posting videos and when there's like a new set that's dropped we'll probably do more than one because uh, we do alternate where we try to uh, go back and forth between pokemon and magic the gathering so if you're a fan of that definitely hit that sub button because we're, we do a lot of those videos as well and again when there's a new set that drops we'll probably be dropping multiple videos per day just so that we can embrace all the hype in that new set and also, I'll be posting pictures of more cards from my collection that we don't hit on the video uh, on my Instagram account. So there is a link down in the description. And lastly, as always, if you do play the online game and you do look, are you are looking for some codes, let me know in a comment below or hit me up on Instagram and I will hook you up. Um, ooh, I do like this Amolga. And then we have a Pharaoh Thorn. All right, I've been rambling a lot. I haven't been focusing too much on the cards. Let's do that for at least for a little bit. Put some of these code cards off the side so I can hand them out. Uh, I do like that idea just because uh, these codes that I show on camera, it's very much first come, first, first come, first serve, and only first come, first serve. Cute little Squirtle, which is not ideal. All right, we have a Grimer. We have Ponyard. Oh, gosh, 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 come on. I guess Incineroar is cool. Actually, he's kind of weird. <laughs> I think Litten's cool. Incineroar is. Uh, he feels a little... I mean, this will sound weird. But I feel like he's kind of cartoonish. Uh, which, for... Japanese anime. I, yes, I I see the irony here, but I, I stand by that statement. Alright, so we have a fire energy. Need Reno, Dangerous Drill, Hitmonchan Dancing in the City, Jolt Tick. Is this a bug? Like, when we say Jolt Tick, is that supposed to be like a tick? A, a lightning tick, that is terrifying. 
Lightning horse is also kind of weird. Paris. This bird is super weird. Oh, cute Pidgey. Farfetch for a Pokemon that probably will never amount to much. I really like Farfetch. And we have a the Destiny Stinger B Drill. Hmm. If any of you guys play the online game and try to keep up with the meta and you have found a way to make Beedrill work, let me know. That is, uh, this is a card that I feel like there's so much potential there. Someone make it work. Cause I want to see it. But yeah, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of these uh, boxes. Do you like the idea of these pre-made pre decks? Like, I could see why people wouldn't be too crazy about it. Like, oh, we're, you know, this is, we're kind of just recycling and you're creating these GXs that maybe aren't that good just to kind of like capture on the hype, but I'm on that hype train. <laughs> so we got a Litten and then a Kabutops. Kabutops. So, if you have Kabutops, if it's your active Pokemon, you can't play Supporters. Supporters are like the backbone of everything. That's how you cycle through your cards. That's how you maintain um, your your hand size. That's quite strong. And I feel like the Yama Star has something similar. Vulpix, this art feels very lazy, I must say. Pancham, Squirtle, looks fun. <laughs> Again, another weird comment. It's very 2D. Bill's analysis. And then, ah, God, we're hitting, we're hitting lots of GXs, which is good. But there's only so many GXs we can get in a single box. And we still don't have the Magic Card Warlord. Guys, how is this pot? Oh, I do realize with this, there's so much color going on. It's hard to see the cards. Hmm, noted. But I, no regrets. Now I know though. All right. Is this the one? I think it is. Here we go. Calling it right here. This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. We've waited through, gone through over five boxes. Oh, we also did a um, Elite Trader box as well. And it's come to right here. You guys ready for this? Ready? Three, two, one, boom! These B sharp is kind of cool. <sighs> Losing faith, guys. Lou. Zing, they ball pit me out. Mareep, Mareep. When it comes to Pokemon Go, still don't have a shiny Mareep. And I guess I could trade for one, but that feels that feels incorrect. Jasmine and then Garvantua. Like for people that play the uh, Pokemon games, like yeah, you could always trade. And in fact, there were some advantages to trading. And like. I guess there are technically disadvantages, but that rarely comes into play. Uh, but especially uh, unless you can't obtain it because of the game you have, uh, that just feels, I'm not, I'm not sure what the right word is. Like that's not how you want to do it. And cheat is not cheating, but it just feels less, it, you feel less of a sense of accomplishment. So I definitely, what was I talking about originally about? <laughs> I'm going back to the Magikarp Wailord. I definitely want to pull my own Magikarp Wailord. And a just slash. All right. Last pack. And then after this, we only have 12 more packs for six boxes. Oh, man. Let's do this. We are going all in. Actually, I don't know what that means in this context. But here we go. Metal Energy. Viridian Forest. Tentacruel. Ingo and Emmett. Oh, Lolan Grimer. Ponyta running downhill with the Mareep. Very cute. Charmander. All right. A single sword, the angry Pokeball. And do I see something? All right. No, we just got to do it fast. Oh, I missed. All right. Blastoise. At least Blastoise 
looks very cool. Ah, there's one Blastoise, I can't remember. I think it's like Expedition or something. He looks so cool, he's kind of like just poking his head out of the water. Looks like he's stalking something, ready to attack. All right, so, uh, guys, can't believe what's happening. Uh, but for the opening, it was pretty good. Uh, I, sorry if I'm overly down uh, or dour, just, I can't believe I still haven't pulled one. But the, overall, this was a very good opening. We had three GXs, so we got Ampharos, we have Incineroar, and another Pikachu Zekrom, which again, in case you guys didn't know, this card is super viable in the meta right now. Um, along with other cards I've seen is Celebi Venusaur decks and a Zapdos Jirachi deck. And then when I looked through, I think I only had a couple Jirachis. But, um, yeah, so there we have it. We got one more opening left for our case, guys. Case, case is six booster boxes for our case. Um, so that's it for this opening. As always, appreciate all the support. Um, to me, this is still just the beginning of this channel and I feel like we're starting to gain some speed, gain some momentum, gain, gain and have some uh, really, dedicated, uh, really dedicated audience I appreciate. Uh, I've been trying to think about what to do. Uh, you know, we still got a ways to go before we hit 100 subs, but I do want to do some kind of celebration. Uh, if you have any thoughts about it, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. As always, it's a Wanna Turtle, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.